and that's why I think I, he's become such a strong competitor. Well, Look at that. See it think about that. Fight now. Just thinking about getting that tag. Get that tag. Get that. Let's get it done. And here comes the boss. To the gut. To the face. To the gut. Suck it. Just the boss versus the final boss. Still remembering that knee. Still, he's got that knee. They worked on it earlier. But he's fresher than everybody else right now. Taking it off with that knee does just as effective broken as it does not when it's in your face and very hard. Ooh. Oh. Feeling the effects of that leg, though. Couldn't quite follow up. And this is the second time we've seen Wayans go up the ropes. This is not a good place for him to be. There's the blind tag. There's the tag. Wayans didn't see it. And Jordy and Curtis call. And, oh, listen to this crowd. Normally we see this. The tag's going up. Welcome everybody here at Colorado's, the heavyweight champion of sports entertainment, the best kept secret in all of Denver. This is Rocky Mountain Pro Charge live on Right Now TV. And everybody, my name is Colin Tenard, and conspicuous by his absence is Titus Machiavelli, but another evil genius here to the right of me, Mr. Severino Corrente, joining me here on commentary. The charge champion, the king of charge, Severino Corrente. And someone had to get on here and check you. So Titus reached out to me even though it was my night off and he asked me, Severino, can you please, please rain Colin in? That's what I'm here to do tonight. Well, as many lies as we're gonna tell, we do wanna run down the card that we have tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, the Tag Team Championships are gonna be on the line. Such a big main event. The most funnest tag team on the planet who did win the tag titles back over the weekend at the Rack House. They are gonna be defending those titles against those pack of wolves, that the triumphant that you lead. All right, calm down with the whole pack of wolves thing, okay? My guys did not get the job done at the Rack House Pub and Brewery. Tonight, they will amend that situation, and they're going to get the job done solo. I will be here at Commentary Simone Lockhart. will stay in the back. Vlad and Bruce will get the job done tonight. Well, regardless on that, we are, in other words, going to be finding out who the new general manager of Rocky Mountain Pro is going to be tonight. Now, Mop Boy stepped down last week, and we have heard that the new general manager is in the building tonight. And, and I have gotten word right before we came on that we're actually going to find out exactly who that general manager is going to be when we come up next. And God forbid, I hope it's not you, Severino. It would be smart to be me, but anyone will be better than Mop Lad. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to find out all of that when we come back to you next, right here, live on Right Now TV. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, here at Right Now TV. And as you can see, we got the heavyweight champion now, in the ring. Now is the time in the show where we find out who the new general manager is. This is going to be interesting. I but sure hope it's not him. Since I'm the Rocky Mountain Pro Champion, I'm the Heisen brother of Breaking Necks, I'm the Annihilator, Anaya. 
I've decided that I'm going to make an announcement. When the champ speaks, the other champ speaks. People should pay attention. Tonight, in this very ring, I will not be competing. Woo! He's proud of that. He's not a fighting champion. Disgusting. Wait a minute. What do we have here? I think Austin Reddick's got a death wish coming out on the champion what right does now. this glory hog from the south actually think he's got to do in the ring with Anaya right now? Well, West Texan Austin Reddick making his way into the ring, but I got to tell you, Severino, I don't know if he's facing the right guy right now, especially an upset. Severino looks like he's caught off guard. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Did you, did you not just hear what I said? I said I'm not competing. I wrestled four people this weekend, four separate times, four different cuts. I don't know where they're from. I'm not competing, so congratulations. You're going to walk back to the back. Thank you. Oh, so, so we're not competing, so we're back this way. Yeah, yeah, go back. So you think yeah. I'm coming out for a match for that? Yes, that's why you're here. Yeah, he's right? not coming yeah. out for a oh, match, what's he doing here? I mean, here? I mean, I mean y'all all see me take that from him, right? There's, there is none. You know, as, as much as I would love to, I actually came out here for another reason. You see, you're kind of stepping on my mic time. We were supposed to introduce a brand new general manager of Rocky Mountain Pro. That's absolutely right, and we can't wait to hear who it is. Whoa, whoa. And I'm not saying you're not off to a good start with the new boss around here. Now, we've all seen enough pro wrestling to know that if he comes out here and he says he's not wrestling tonight, I'm supposed to tell him, no, you are. I'm not going to do that, though. I'm, I'm not going to do that, though, because I'll give credit where it's due. Last weekend was impressive. You beat some of the biggest names in this business. You beat Atiba. You beat yeah. Congo. You beat Chris Silvio. You had a good weekend, so you know what? I'm going to give you the night off. You're going to need it. You're going to need to rest up. Because next week, right here in this ring, in the main event of charge, we're going to see Anaya defend that Rocky Mountain Pro Championship against Monster Zero Filter. Gotta be kidding me, what a monumental announcement, Severino. You to enjoy your night the off, big champ. Rest up, you're gonna need it. The big monster filter clashing with the Heisen brother. The charge champion will always be the true main event, but That's even right. I am I'm going to be now. entertained by that match. I mean, can you make more of a statement your force order of being the new general manager than to make a match with a champion Anaya having to defend his title against the biggest man in the locker room with a Monster Zero filter. Well, Austin Reddick, great. He's the new general manager. He's out there trying to make big plays to try and impress the crowd. All these new eyes watching Rocky Mountain Pro, I got to give him credit where it's due. Yeah, when That's the king a of the good move. I tell you, when the king of the jungle rolls through, everybody's on notice. But now that there's a new sheriff in town, it looks like he's calling the shots. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have more action coming your way later on. I mean, what else are we going to see tonight? We're going to see more when we kick things off here with Charge Live. And welcome back, everybody, here at Rocky Mountain Pro Charge Live on Right Now TV. And look who we have here, Severino. The big barbarian hunter, Gray. Now, why, why does he have to bring out an axe and, and swing this thing around? This can't be really that safe. Children here. Listen to the ovation here for Hunter Gray. I mean, this guy, I mean, you got to see it up close and personal. He's an absolute barbarian. Unbelievable strength on this guy right here. I mean, he is just all solid muscle. And a surprising amount of agil agility and athleticism from the big brute. Oh, that's the rope. You. Don't eat the ropes. Yeah, that's a little barbaric. This crowd certainly behind him here. And his opponent making his way to the ring, being accompanied by Monster Zero Filter. Please welcome, hailing from Detroit, Michigan, Marlon Bishop! But we talk about the size of Hunter Gray. My goodness, Severino, look at the size of Marlon Bishop. Unbelievable. 
Hunter Gray's got that whole Viking thing going. This is two Norse titans, gods, whatever you want to call it, that are going to clash here in Golden, Colorado. Absolutely, and Marlon Bishop now also a fan favorite here. I mean, these are probably, I mean, especially with Filter on the outside, we're probably talking about the three strongest guys in all of Rocky Mountain Pro. No offense. At least three of the most, wow. At least three of the strongest, most powerful, and the largest men in Rocky Mountain Pro. And, si and size is the most important thing in wrestling, Colin. Come on, you wouldn't know you haven't really been in the ring, but take it from me. I'll just go ahead and say I'm sure never loved to cross pass with either of these two. And here we go as the action gets ready to kick underway. He's asking for a test of strength. Hey, Colin, hold on a second. Let, we can't just gloss over the fact we have a new general manager for Rocky Mountain Pro. Oh, we have replaced Mop Boy with the son of Texas, Austin Reddick. Just huge monumental news to kick off our first live show on Right Now TV. Austin Reddick came out and announced that he is the new general manager here at Rocky Mountain Pro. And as Hunter Gray starts to take advantage of this test of strength, we saw that the announcement was made for next week. The title's gonna be on the line as Monster Zero Filter on the outside here is gonna have a match against Anaya. Now Austin Reddick's first Decree as general manager is to put Filter in the spotlight. And Filter has said multiple times he's hungry for competition and a shot. Well, the big felt dog has his shot. He couldn't get the job done with me. Let's see if he can get it done with that other champion, Anaya. Going right after the champion as your first decree of being the new general manager. I'm not sure that's the smartest idea, Severino. He's doing his flex. Big dog's in the jump. Big dog's coming into the yard. He wants to flex his muscles and show who's in charge. Speaking of which, right inside the ring right now, looks like these two are just trying to battle each other. And I think this is something maybe shocking to the newcomer here, Marlon Bishop. I don't think he's ever seen anybody in the ring. That's quite as strong as him, but he goes right after him and knocks out Hunter Gray to the outside. Normally I would say that trying to challenge either of these men with strength would be a poor strategic choice. I really don't know who would have the strength advantage in this. I've been in the ring with Hunter Gray. I've felt the Norse God strength, but this Marlon Bishop NFL background, this, this could be a stalemate the first time in either of these men's career. Hunter Gray buying his time on the outside. Let's go ahead and mention that and make sure everybody knows that Hunter Gray, he's a veteran. I mean, he's a well-traveled wrestler who even drew eyes over to the WWE to make sure that he made a trip down to the Performance Center for them to take a look at him. I mean, this guy has got talent. Hunter Gray is a little unorthodox. I think that's fair to say. But Hunter Gray, and Look what did I that. say earlier? He's even got agility on him. And here he goes off the ropes now. Bad place for Marlon Bishop. Ooh, diving right in, cutting off the throat there. Marlon cr Bishop. Cross body, caught in the throat out for Marlon Bishop. It's hard to be strong when you can't breathe. There. Here we go, goes for the cover, count. He's gonna have to do more than that though if he wants to take out Marlon Bishop. And we've seen Marlon Bishop tested at this point. Dustin Ura took him and had a very, very competitive encounter. But I think this could be Super Superman's kryptonite right now for Marlon Bishop. Someone like Hunter Gray, someone with that strength that can match him. That's a good observation there, Severino. And let's yeah, I know it's a good observation. That's why I said it. Okay, now let's face it. Marlon Bishop, he's run through all the competition. He's come his way so far. In the short amount of time he's been here at Rocky Mountain Pro. This isn't the biggest test he's had yet. I mean, this guy's been through the NFL Combine. Every test in his way, he has been able to go through. He's been able to, to make well. up for rookie mistakes in the ring with that amazing power game of his. Cut off what happens course. when that power game isn't his advantage? And now, slow to get to his feet, and I, I kind of agree with you. I can't believe I'm saying that, but it, Hunter Gray has got the advantage here, and Marlon Bishop is in a bad way. I, never, I haven't seen him like this. And Hunter Gray setting up something in the corner. He could be going for that Norse Brode kick that he likes to hit. And here we go. He's setting up for it. Marlon Bishop, slow to get to his feet. Comes up. Norse kick misses. Wait a minute. Uh oh. Oh. Oh my goodness. And here we go. Marlon Bishop is fired up. Oh, as strong as Hunter Gray is, I don't know if he's as flexible as he is strong. I mean, he went cross-eyed on that one, and uh-oh. 
Marlon Bishop's got him up on his shoulders. Like he could be child. looking for the roll bounce. And if he does, it's over. He's just marching around the ring with him, Severino. Marlon Bishop has impressed me with his strength. And this might be the most impressive. Gets sheet. him up. Roll bounce. That's going to do it. One, two, good night. Academic. And a huge answer to the question of strength here for Marlon Bishop as he continues to roll through the roster here at Rocky Mountain Pro. You better be on your P's and Q's here, Severino. Strength and size isn't everything, but I will give Marlon Bishop his due. Very impressive. And the big monster filter on the outside watching as Hunter Gray is. Hunter Hunter Gray just dumped to the outside here. I mean, look at these two. I mean, these guys, I mean, these guys are absolute monsters. Who's gonna stop these two? I don't think Hunter Gray knows where he is right now. And ladies and gentlemen, do not forget Marlon Bishop might be impressed this week. His new little friend there and filter needs to be just as impressive next week if he has even the remote chance to take on Anaya and take that brass ring. No we'll see no what doubt about can it. do. Well, well, coming up next, one of the biggest Lockheads matches ever on charge, the triumphant Simone Lockhart, who you know very well, which is going to be defending her title against the vicious Ali Gato. All that is coming your way when we come back next. The Mercury Pro Wrestling Academy is the only establishment in Colorado to get professional wrestling training from professionals with connections available nowhere else. MPWA is the official training facility of Rocky Mountain Pro, a local television product right here in Colorado, and offers a training program that focuses on the full professional wrestling experience, including proper fundamentals, in-ring technique, cardio conditioning, character development, television production, and much more. Here you will not only train and attend great seminars, but attend Rocky Mountain Pro tapings and events, getting up close and personal with world-class talent. If you are serious about being a professional wrestler, then MPWA is the place for you. Located off 6th Avenue in Jefferson County Fairgrounds in Golden, Colorado, be a part of Pro Wrestling Elevated. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, here at Rocky Mountain Pro Charge. And as you see in the ring, Former Lockhead champion Ali Gatto ready to do battle against someone you know very well here, Severino. The Duchess from down under and the current Rocky Mountain Pro Lockhead's champion, Simone Lockhart. Simone Lockhart walking in as the champion. And I got to tell you, this is the biggest title defense that she's had in her early title run here, Severino. I think she's a little nervous. She has the right amount of nerves that a champion needs to have. My first title defense, of course I was nervous, but I used those feelings to sharpen my mind to develop the strategy to win. The following one fall contest is for the Rocky Mountain Pro Lockheads Championship. First, the challenger, hailing from the north side, please welcome Ali Gatto! Most dominant Lockhead in Rocky Mountain Pro history. And her opponent, hailing from Sydney, Australia, she is your Rocky Mountain Pro Lockheads champion, the Duchess from Down Under, Simone Lockhart. Simone Lockhart, and you're right, you are 100% correct. Ali Gatto is the most dominant Lockhead in Rocky Mountain Pro's history, multiple time champion. She's gone to war with the baddest and best of this company's history. Key word, history. Simone Lockhart is now the present and future Lockett in Rocky Mountain Pro. Certainly has put that stamp right here in the Rocky Mountains, but right now you've got to understand that she is going to be extremely hungry to get back what means most to her as the bell rings here. And here we go, Lockett's title on the line. And here we go, squaring off. And Impressive offense a little bit early on here from Simone Lockhart. If Simone Lockhart has any chance to beat Aligato, and she knows what she has to do, she needs to match Aligato's extreme aggressive streak. 
That is probably the most impressive thing about Ali Gatto is that mean streak running down her back. Nice agility there by the vicious one. Dumps her over and Ali Gatto off the ropes now. Ooh, drop kick down and Simone Lockhart in a bad way right now. I mean, we can't forget about how she won that title in the first place at Supercharged 3 just last week. She went up from behind on the champion, Rochelle Riveter, and took out her leg when she, she wasn't took, looking. Hey, look, Rochelle Riveter came into that match overconfident. She came into that match with way too much spunk and happiness, and Simone was able to take advantage of the situation like any wrestler would. And here we go now. Oh, just the claws down the back there by Ali Gatto and Simone Lockhart. You, it almost seems like she's got something else on her mind right now. Ooh, nice reversal there, though. Rolls out of the way. Simone with some incredible athleticism. Ooh, ah. Big clothesline there, and Simone, this could be one of the shortest Lockett's title reigns ever. She goes for the cover here, and only a one count. That's what all you people do. You have doubted every single member of the Triumphant. You have doubted us from day one. You've doubted me as the king. You've doubted Simone now as the duchess. She knows what she needs to do tonight to keep her claws into that championship. Speaking of claws, got a handful of hair there. Referee's got to see something like that. And as the match goes on here, whoa, what a suplex there. Nice power there. Simone Lockhart is the total package. Speed, athleticism, and strength in a Lockett. That division would do well by themselves to take notes of the leader of the Lockett's division. Now she may have that athletic total package as she goes from the corner here in a huge... Bump into the buckle there, and it looks like Ali Gatto got the brunt of that one. Here we go for the cover to retain deep. the title. Not Simone enough. Lockhart has sat under my wing, and she has learned. She's been able to put her pieces together to bring her strength and speed into her viciousness and be effective. But you can have all the strength and speed you want, but I don't think there's any doubting that in recent weeks, I think Simone Lockhart might be a little bit scared right now of Abaddon. Calm down, calm down. Look. Simone Lockhart's not scared of Abdon. Abaddon has shocked her, I'll give her that. And why wouldn't she be shocking? She's some demonic looking sludge spewing freak. So anyone would be caught off guard. What a huge, huge move there. And Backstabber from Aligato to Simone Lockhart. And now Simone reaching for the ropes here. Aligato could just be moments away from regaining what is exactly her prized possession. And that Lockett's title, and, and Simone Lockhart, you gotta hand it to her, she's fighting back. Simone's not a quitter, I don't have quitters in my group. Oh, it's a hard shot right there, and it surprises me, surprises me more than anything is she's able to come out here on her own, knowing that the Triumphant came out during her Lockett's match. I mean, it always seems like she, anybody in the Triumphant no, 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 should no, no, say no, no, needs no, help. No, 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 excuse me. I said last week the Triumphant would get the job done in every single match. I won my match by myself. Simi won her match by herself. The Knights of Charge won their match by themselves. Ooh. No doubt about it. It was a clean sweep, but on a huge move. Ali Gatto going for the pin here. Black gets title on the line. Kick Joss Come getting on, the right shoulder up is Simone Lockhart. And I got to tell you, Severino, I can see the worry in your eyes right now. Simone is in trouble. Ali is getting ready to set her up. Simone is young in her wrestling career. She's going to have to dig deep here. And of course I'd be worried. Simone's an associate of mine. Simone is a friend of mine. Of course I'd be concerned for a friend. I'm not heartless. And now, taking her and dragging her down here. Oh, trying to bring her over, and there it is. And Ali Gatto now. Oh, my goodness. Snap there to discombobulate the opponent, plus a nice Vicious kick to the spine. Cover again. Come on, Simone. Gets the kick out there. And I got to tell you, I'm, I'm impressed with what I'm seeing with Simone Lockhart so far in her first title defense. You know, she is hanging in there with yeah. one of the toughest. Well, of course, she learned from me. And now, she learned to have guts from the king of charge. But it has been all of the offense so far here by Ali Gatto. Simone Lockhart looking like Tony Bennett's Virginia defense right now, just doing anything to survive. No, you think you're topical and cute. And here we go. Going up, setting her up for the litter box. Come on, Has Simone. her up. Think, Simone think, Lockhart think, think. trying there to get go. out of it. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. She's trying to run away here? She's getting her senses back. Ooh. Hard elbow there. Ali Gatto bit right into it. Ooh. Ooh. No, she got her right in the face. Wait a minute. 
Looks like she's hook setting her up. Uh-oh, this hook isn't it. good. Hook it in. Here comes the pedigree. Oh, oh my goodness. Pin her, pin her, pin her, pin her. Oh, get, no. on, get, on, get her. This could be it. To Stick retain it Lockett's title, she got it. What did I tell you? Digging deep, representing the triumphant. In her version of the pedigree, the CNX Thursday comes up huge in her first title defense here on Rocky Mountain Pro Charged. And I'm going to hand it to her. She was able to get it done. And Simone and I talked about the. No, 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 no. Uh oh, wait a minute. We all know who this is. Here Where's comes the demonic one. Story? Oh, Jesus. Here comes Abaddon. And look it in the ring. What is this convulsing, spewing freak doing on my charge? And Abaddon crawling to the ring here. And this might be the first time I've seen some guts here from Simone Lockhart. She's trying to stand tall. This is uh, the, not the same Simone I remember seeing last time. Be careful, Simone, come on. Where's that fear? Oh. My God, what's that spewing from her oh. mouth? Oh, <coughs> what am I looking at? <coughs> uh oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, there she, there she goes. Oh, I told you she was scared, Severino. She's running scared. Well, what is, what is this thing? What am I looking at right now? She's got rabies shots. Abaddon. Simone is a champion. She's not a circus. Oh, my God. I got to tell you, one of these days, Severino, the Duchess from down under is going to have to face her fears and face the demonic one. We're back, ladies and gentlemen, here. You and humans Severino. live what am in I the downside to? Hey, calm down. You think eating candy or not eating candy, not eating pizza. Oh, these people disrespect throwing disrespect candy at them. Fans. Not eating apple strudel is a punishment, is a sacrifice. No. Say no to sugar is an offering. It is a gift. I can't do another no. day of this. Lady, you keep your mouth shut looking like you have type 4 diabetes. Any of these fans could stand to lose a couple pounds. Maybe they should actually listen to Mario Vanger. It's a gift. Say no to sugar is a gift, which you humans don't possess. This guy's totally lost it. I mean, this guy is completely, and look at this crowd here. That's right. You can hear them at home. They want my pleasure. Oh, thank and God. And keep on coming. Thank God, here comes. Oh, it is the extracurricular liaison. Oh. That is zero cool. Oh. oh, my head. And uh, I think he's on a call with somebody. Who, who's he talking to here, Severino? Look, I. I, I <sighs> zero a cool is a. He can get many things from all over the world. So he's probably talking to one of his connections. I get it. Look, I will give Zero Cool some credit. He was trying to win favor with the king of charge as most people try to do so he was asking what can i get you i don't associate with his kind of rabble so i tried to send him on a wild goose chase i asked for a unicorn cashmere carpet from cambodia two days later it was in my front door i'm gonna go ahead and say that you were likely ripped off if i had to take a guess oh you think i actually paid for it and here we go a bell rings and here we go coming after him quick here uh-oh catches him and oh Look, and do I agree with Mario Vanger's complete zero sugar tolerance? It might be a little extreme. However, he's coming from a good place. He's trying to actually uh -oh, save Oh, wait a minute. Is he already calling for it? The Saint owner sugar stop misses. Uh oh, sets him up. Liaison bottom. He already hit him with it. Unbelievable. This would be a huge upset, Severino. This would be a crushing blow to the sugar free movement if Mario Vanger loses to the extracurricular uh -oh. liaison. Misses. Oh, catches him over there. Does a roll up and and now ducks the clothesline now. Mario Avenger, one of the Oh my goodness, the hardest, sugar line. He is one of the hardest hitting Rocky Mountain pro wrestlers. There we go, cover could be it already. 
And for good reason, Mario Vanger obviously cares extremely amounts about his nutrition. He cares about his physique. All of that builds into one of the toughest competitors that Rocky Mountain Pro has to offer. He's a former champion, Charge and Rocky Mountain Pro, for a reason. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we do want to thank you here for joining us on our very first live edition here of Rocky Mountain Pro Charge here on Right Now TV. And not only that, we want to thank everybody that's joining us on Twitch. And be sure to join us a little bit after the show for After Charge, where we are going to be getting the new general manager on the headset. He's going to be answering your questions. The new GM, Austin Reddick, will be here on After Charge live on Twitch after the show. And knowing that, we know that he is likely going to be making a huge announcement, folks. You are not going to want to miss that. Make sure to join the Rocky Mountain Pro page on Twitch after the show. I have to appreciate Mario Vanger right now. The little spice of viciousness never hurts a professional wrestling competition. And zero cool, well, he's kind of thick skulled. He could take a, quite a bit of punishment. Ooh, I mean, this is punishment right now though. I mean, zero cool is feeding off this crowd right now. The kicks to the head are only making the extracurricular liaison matter. He has fired up Severino. Mario, don't kick him in the head. There's nothing there. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, he, he has to be losing teeth after a slap like that. There's something beautiful and so pure about a good smack across the jaw. I think he just took a nap on that one, and now Mario Vanger has completely lost his mind. What did I say about Mario Vanger? Hard hitting Austrian. What does he call himself? The big horse. The big horse. He is on a sugar free. Uh oh, wait a minute. Before I say anything, is Zero Cool showing some fire right now? And, ooh, oh, and a kick to the stomach. And now continuing with those right forearms. I mean, this is a former heavyweight champion here in Mario. And a fury of European uppercuts staggering Zero Cool. Oh, by a devastating forearm. The sugar-free one. Just with a huge, huge forearm. And it looks like he's calling for it. The say no to sugar stop. And I think that's going to do that it for the extra academic, ladies and gentlemen. And that's going to do it. The sugar-free Mario Banjo gets it done. Well, Zero Cool puts up a little bit of a fight. He can go liaison his bed tonight with a bit of a headache. I don't know what he was thinking coming out to interrupt the sugar-free one. Oh, you're kidding me. Did he just grab a microphone? This thing's over. The man's not done talking. You humans represent Zero Cool. You are down. You are weak. You are envious. Well, what is this all You're about? You're chubby. You have type 5 diabetes. You choose. You choose to be like this. But then he talks sugar about a species like me. How could you endorse you something like this? Sugar. Is he extreme? Yes, but he's coming from a place of truth. You have to at least respect that. Uh, this is bullying at its finest. He can't That's endorse right. that. Wait it's a minute. It's tough love. Uh-oh. Speaking of crazy. And the hits just keep on coming tonight, ladies and gentlemen. The craziest man in all of Rocky Mountain Pro, Mr. Chongo Bronson. Well, it depends on which personality comes out to be the craziest. First, Zero Cool interrupts the sugar-free one, and now this bumbling buffoon of crazy, awesome. He is what the does he possibly want? He is the Madhouse Monster. Cutting you off, old chap. Oh, old chap, what is going oh. As Twitch champion, <laughs> it is Chongo's duty to inform you on behalf of the people. The people who he calls his madhouse. I'm sorry, dear boy, but Chongo just can't understand you with that ridiculous accent. <laughs> However, Pop, All right, ladies and gentlemen, I, these two are just jawing at each other. That's going to do it. You are watching Right Now TV. Tougher than the rest. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen.
ladies and gentlemen. And Severino, it's main event time. It's war time for the boys. Let's go. And here's these so-called pack of wolves, the triumphant. And we're going round three here, Severino. You watch your mouth with the pack of wolves garbage. This is the triumphant. This is the premier group of Colorado wrestling. You want to keep running your mouth, it's not going to be able to take you very far. My boys have the ultimatum tonight to get the job done. They embarrassed me this weekend. It's time to fix this. And they have quite the task on their hands. Because here comes the Tag Team Champions. Here comes the most funnest tag team on the planet. And look at that shirt he's wearing there. Mercury Matt Yaden rocking a collar and elbow shirt. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to support Rocky Mountain Pro, if you want to support indie wrestling, please, please, please go to collarandelbow.com slash RMP. Get you one of these shirts. They're really good looking. Supported by Al Snow, who's just here last week. A friend of Rocky Mountain Pro to a T. Go to collarandelbow.com. And there they are, the tag team champions. And what, this. What are these MFTT? What the? What, what is this? MFTTOP? What am I looking at right now? This tag team championship match is scheduled for one fall. First, the challenger. They are the team of Vlad Dalashov, Bruce Bayan, the triumphant. your tag champions. This is a huge best of three match here because. Hey, Curtis Cole, why don't you watch the ring and watch these guys that are about to take those titles from you again. And I think they're trying to now avoid any sort of chirping ringside. I don't think it's gonna do them any good at this point. Look, I've been in the ring with Matthew Ye and I've been in the ring with Curtis Cole. Both accomplished wrestlers in their own regard. The triumphant is a family and the triumphant needs those titles. All of these fans doubt us. This is where we shut them up. And here we go. The bell sounds and tag titles are on the line here in the main event on charge. Big shoulder tackle there by the Siberian soldier. Ooh, look at that nip up there by Curtis Cole. And uh, now Irish Rip reverse through the corner. Referee almost got in the mix there. Max Larson able to move out of the way. And now dump to the outside. Curtis Cole just such a fast wrestler. This guy. Keep an eye out, Here we go. Rolls out of the way. Ooh, drop kick into the corner now. And again, trying to get that momentum by dragging him into the corner. Smart tag team wrestling there. And Mercury Aiden with a huge flapjack there. Look at the tag team with a leg drop by. Oh, wait, here we go. Cover goes up, but only a one count. You're going to have to do more than that to take down the triumphant. Exactly. Vlad Balashev, the Siberian soldier, resilient. Can get it done in multiple facets. Speed, strength, technical ability, Matt Wrestling. Yeah, I recruit the best in the triumphant. Very much Matt Wrestling so far, and here comes final boss Bruce Waynes. Ooh. Hard shot to the ribs, and you want to talk about power for power. These guys have it. Well, Vlad Balashov is that polished wrestler. Bruce Wayans is that piece of coal that I have formed into a diamond. Uh-oh, nice. Reversal there, getting out of the way is Mercury Aiden. You can tell just how much these tag team championships mean to all these gentlemen in the ring here. Goes to the cover, and uh, just getting the two count. Come on, Bruce, come on. And, and I gotta tell you, as the tag's made here, and a huge suplex brings them down across the ropes and brings them over. That is some power in tag team agility. You gotta be getting nervous at this point, Severino. They are looking great. Here we go for the kid. Oh, almost had it. Jaden Cole come out of the box every time. A lot of energy, a lot of fun. These guys try and get in there and entertain the people. When push comes to shove, the triumphant will show you what professional wrestling really needs to be to be champions. And we gotta wonder too, I mean, we don't see Simone Lockhart at ringside here. I told you earlier, Simone Lockhart is celebrating her win in the back. I told Vlad, I told Bruce, Get the job done tonight. Prove these people wrong. And an absolute huge suit.
suplex here, and here goes for the cover. And ladies and gentlemen, so much action going on with this Tag Team Championship. We are gonna see a winner decided here tonight on, when guys. we come back. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. The tag team action continues, and we are not leaving here until we have a winner. No more commercial breaks, Severino. Come on, boys, cut the ring off. And that's exactly what they've done while we are gone. The triumphant have absolutely dominated during the commercial break. Here we go for the cover. Wearing down the most funnest tag team on the planet, the, ch the champs in serious jeopardy. Of course the champs are in serious Of course they're in serious jeopardy. And now, here we go, stomping away now. The Siberian soldier. This guy is a has held the tag team titles as much as anybody at Rocky Mountain Pro. This guy is as impressive a team player as there is. Why do you think I pay Vlad Balashov an exorbitant amount of money to anchor the triumphant with experience? And right now he is looking to get one more title under his belt by regaining the championship again. And we can't forget that brutal tables match where they first the pain. Ooh. They capture those titles for the first time. And everyone laughed, everyone scoffed. The Triumphant versus Damon Cole. They have no shot. They scoffed tonight, they've got no shot. The Triumphant is in the business of disappointing these fans, and we're doing it again tonight. Now, Severino, no matter the outcome here tonight, you have to agree with me, whoever wins this tonight has to be declared the most dominant tag team of Rocky Mount Pro as we go for the cover, but hands on the ropes. You have to consider that whoever wins this tonight is the most dominant tag team in Rocky Mountain Crow. Am I not correct? Championships in signified dominance. I would have to agree with that, and I have no problem agreeing with that. The triumphant will Cover. dominate. Ooh, Come on, sink it in, Vlad. Very, very close call here. And it looks like Yaden is down right now, and I know you don't want to do it, but you have been in the ring as much as anybody with Mercury Aiden as a crowd is erupting, cheering on Mercury Aiden to get to his feet. And you, like I said, you've been in the ring with him more than when anybody. When you have a man like Mercury Aiden down, you need to stay on him. You need to bring the aggressiveness. You can't let him get that head of steam. I have been to war with Matthew Aiden many, many times. Empty arenas, in the mountains, anywhere it's you can tag. imagine. Oh, there it is! Curtis Cole with the tag! Oh my goodness! Wakes him up with a blockbuster. Come that on, is huge. Vlad, is he gonna clean up, the clean cover? up, clean up, clean up. Wait a minute, Vlad's illegal here. The referee needs to get in the ring. Vlad Balashaw is not the legal man. He needs to get out. That should be a disqualification. Unbelievable. The referee needs to hold control of the match. If you have a problem with the match, blame Max Larson. Don't go after the triumphant. And now, both men down center of the ring. And, and the here only comes fresh the man right now is Vlad Balashov. Matthew Yates taking an exorbitant amount of punishment. Curtis Cole takes the Molotov cocktail and Bruce Wayne took the blockbuster. And here we go, if this gets to 10, most funnest tag team on the planet will retain titles, but Bruce Wayne's first to his feet. Come on, Bruce, get your bearings, get your bearings. Oh, look at this. Get your bearings. What is, this is, what is that Vlad Balashov doing right He's now? He's in the wrong corner. Oh, he poked, he the poked him in the eye, come oh, on, no. ref. He just knocked him out, Bruce. pulled off the apron. And here comes a former champion. And current tag team champion. Keep your feet, keep your feet, keep your feet. Blake Lariat, absolutely huge move no, there. No, 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 come on. And now Mercury Aiden trying to get to his feet. Nobody to tag. A bad spot here for Curtis Cole on, as he gets trapped by the hair by the final boss. Take him back, take it back, take back the momentum, come on. Uh oh oh! Oh my God! Guys, what are you doing? He just kicked him in the stomach. Kicked to the back of the head there by Curtis Cole. And now the tag made to Mercury Aiden. Oh no, they're setting him up. They call this one Crashlevania. No! Bang, bang, connects. But he's not able to get the cover. Come on, get up, come on. Mercury Aiden falls on top for the tag team gold. He got it, he did it. Funnest tag team on the planet regains the titles.
Severino. What happened? What happened? I, I don't know. I, they're triumphant. You said it yourself. Now they're not the most dominant tag team. What? You said it yourself. What? I, what? You, you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Ladies and gentlemen, what an epic battle. They have been battling. They have been absolutely battling here. And finally, the clouds have settled. And the most funnest tag team on the planet is the two tag champions. Ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned for next week when the championship's on the line with a nigh unfilter. And stay tuned for Twitch.